Richard Merritt is a forensic entomologist. He has a cemetery named after him. It's full of dead pigs being handily devoured by blowfly maggots. Merritt and his students, like Molly McIntosh, you're excited by this maggoty dead pig? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty exciting. Seem to love it here. Is this like a playground for what you guys do? Yeah, kind of. I mean, it's a body farm for pigs. Part of what's so exciting to them is watching the life cycle of blowflies play out inside these pigs. Within seconds after a person dies, the odors emanating from the corpse will attract of flies or insects. And even though if we can't smell them, the insects can smell them, the flies can. And they'll be, within minutes, you'll find blowflies. And that's what we deal with 99% of the time is blowflies. The green and blue bottle flies that you see around garbage cans all the time. Blowflies morph through their life cycle in well-known, heavily studied stages depending on the temperature of their environment. If you know the temperature over a time period and can look at the insect and determine what stage it's in, you can back calculate as to how long it took for that insect to get to that particular stage. And that in turn can tell you how much time has passed between the actual death and when the body was discovered. And we can get closer than the forensic anthropologists and the crime scene investigators and the coroner. We can do the best job of, of estimating that time interval. Part of Merritt's job is to train other people on how to use bugs to get information at crime scenes, which is why I'm standing in this really nasty smelling field littered with rotting pig carcasses. There's a, uh, a close um, similarity between humans and pigs, and the decomposition seems to be uh, close to what it would be in a human. So uh, I'm here at, the, at the, the pig cemetery, and I'm trying to be a big boy about this, but <laughs> Woo, it smells! Right here, those are all maggots. Oh. And those are all the spiracles facing outward. Oh, one just crawled out. Oh yeah, right there. Yeah, oh sure, right yeah, that's all maggots. The spiracles you just mentioned are what the maggots breathe through while their mouths are burrowed deep inside the body, chomping away. One end of the maggot is eating, while the other end is breathing. So they breathe through their butts? Exactly. Yeah, that's right. For Discovery News, I'm James Williams. Yeah, there's some good stuff over here.